Hello guys and uh, welcome to Business Tuesday. Remember this is a program where you get all the insights as far as business is concerned. Uh, today on the show we are having a gentleman coming uh, from Safaricom. He will be talking to us about, uh, we know, you know uh, Safaricom uh, has been in the forefront actually of uh, improving lives of Kenyans. And uh, I think a few weeks ago there's something they launched and uh, that will be making part of uh, what we will be talking about today. So... I'm going to allow him to introduce himself and tell us uh, more about uh, Browse Bill Awas because actually that's, that is one of the key uh, topics that uh, we will be covering. And uh, before that, guys, uh, my name is Maurice Owino and uh, as usual, this is a Business Tuesday. Welcome to the program. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for finding time to be on Business Tuesday today. Uh, probably you can talk to the viewer at home, tell us who you are and uh, what brings you on the show today. Thank you, Maurice. So my name is Jude Juma Homolo. Uh, I work at Safaricom. So um, um, my work at Safaricom involves uh, doing quality assurance. I'm an engineer by profession. Mm -hmm. So I'm here today to talk about Browse Bill Awas, uh, a product that, a campaign actually, that we've launched to promote a data bundle. Mm -hmm and also to promote uh, you know, digital uh, usage, usage of bundle in the digital space. Mm. So I'm happy to be here and discuss this with you. Mm. And for the viewers at home, I'm hoping by the end of this discussion, uh, all the questions that they may have about browse bill hours, mm. you know, data unlock and everything around it mm. will be clear and people will enjoy using Safari Bundle. Mm -hmm. yes. Very well, uh, as you just heard it from our guest, uh, we will be talking about uh, Browse Bill Awards and uh, he's going to be getting into all the nitty gritties as far as it's concerned because uh, it's a new thing. Many, many Kenyans uh, actually are yet to know much about it and now first thing first, data is one of the major aspects of Safaricom. Uh, how has data been able to uplift the lives of uh, your customers? Yeah, thank you again uh, for that question, Maurice. Um, as you know, um, mobile phone, um, what we know mobile phone to be is for, you know, just communication. But you see, things have changed. So now mobile phone is not just a tool for communication only. People use it for development. People use it for business. People use it for various things. So for us, we are looking at this as an opportunity uh, for us to create uh, a space mm. for people who use mobile phone or mobile handset to use it to do their business in the online digital market, I mean market, sp market space. If you look at WhatsApp, if you look at Instagram, if you look at even Twitter, mm. people are selling things. Eh? You see Mama Bogas, um, they sell their produce via online platforms. Yes. You see the Boda Boda guys, they, they, they get their customers. If you look at uh, Safe Border, if you look at um, Sandy, you know, all those guys, mm. they get their customers through the, on the internet. Mm. If you look at um, um, even the, the, the small scale vendors, they have uh, the internet as a platform mm. where they can sell their products, they can meet their customers, mm. and they can, you know, just leverage that technology space to mm. make their business grow. So we are looking at the internet as a very special and unique opportunity for customers and, and also for, for our customers who are also small business owners to take advantage of that mm -hmm. and make business out of it. So it's no longer just a tool for you know, communicating like we used to know, mobile mm -hmm. phone, I want to call Maurice. Mm -hmm. So now it's about, uh, of course there's the aspect of communication, but more importantly, we look at it as um, a tool that you use to develop yourself a tool that you use to do business, mm -hmm. a tool that you use to, you know, also develop, I mean, learn new things. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Right now, if you go to YouTube, you want to learn to do anything, even how to cook a recipe, for All instance. the tutorials and all the tutorials are there. If you want to DIYs, if mm -hmm. you want to even make your own house, you know, mm -hmm. make it look <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Anything that you want to learn, if you go on the internet, even if you want to start a business, the ideas of how to start a business. If you just go search and say how to start a Kinyozi, for instance, mm. they'll tell you all that you need to start a Kinyozi. Everything all the capital you need, mm. all, everything that you need to know, even the how to identify your target market, how to even raise capital, mm -hmm. everything that you need. So for us, 
we are looking at the internet as a very unique opportunity mm. for people to learn how to do business in the highly digital space. And also we are looking at it as a space for people to reach out to, because you know, even with the corona happening, mm. people no longer fancy going out in the market to you know, exchange goods like the typical marketplaces. Huh? Mm. So right now, the internet has provided that unique opportunity where people just meet digitally online and then you connect, the seller connects with the buyer mm -hmm. and then business happens. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are trying to leverage on um, and that is the future of Telco. Mm. Telco is providing the communication bit but also a very unique platform for people to develop themselves and do business. Very, very well. Uh, I know the viewer at home have been able to grasp some of uh, your explanation yeah. as to why the internet has become so much important. Yeah into lives, especially the youth, and as uh, you're also quoting the Mamambogas and yeah. uh, the Boda Boda guys, mm -hmm. now we are seeing that uh, nobody has been left out. It's covering <laughs> everyone. So yes. long as you have a smartphone, yeah. you are covered. Yes. And uh, now... And by the way, mm. talking about nobody being left behind, because you see, uh, there is the aspect of inequality mm -hmm. that is there in our society, and uh, there is digital inequality as well. The, the guys who don't have the the digital handset mm -hmm. and the guys who have the digital handset, you know, the smartphone versus the kabambes. Eh? Mm -mm. So the kabambe guys are left behind. Eh? <laughs> you get the point? Yes. While the digital guys are, uh, they they are moving they are, forward. Yes, they're moving forward. Mm. So we are also trying to bridge that digital divide. Actually, that is yes. what I wanted to ask that. Exactly. What are you doing to bridge the gap between those who are using smartphone and those who are using a kabambe kind of stuff? Because them, with mm. the Kabambe, they can't access the internet yeah, easily. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the Kabambe guys cannot access the internet. Mm. And, and we've record, we have recognized that, that challenge. Mm. So what we're trying to do as Safaricom is to provide uh, cheaper ways of accessing the smartphones. Mm -hmm. And if you have heard, we have this thing called Lipa Mdogo Mdogo. Yes. So Lipa Mdogo Mdogo is a unique uh, initiative that we've had as Safaricom, mm -hmm. of course, with partnership with, in partnership with uh, Google. So what we do is we are giving cheaper smartphones. An example is the Neon uh, Ray Pro, mm. which goes for around 3,900 thereabout. Eh? Mm. That's the price. That's the, the price. That's the retailing price. Mm. So what we do is, uh, a customer, a Safaricom customer, you go to the shop, you deposit only 500. We used to have like a thousand, but we reduced it because we want everybody to have access, okay? Mm. So you deposit 500, and then you pay 20 bob every day. You can imagine <laughs> how ridiculously cheap that is, eh? <laughs> 20 bob every day mm. until you finish the, the 3,999. So what is the the time period whereby I should finish paying? Because uh, is it a year, is it a uh, six months? Well, now you can do your math. If you're paying every day, 20 do the math. Mm. 3,900 minus 500, whatever remains, you pay 20 bob every day. Now, the question that I know every Kenyan would <laughs> yes. be asking, especially people from the village, is that yeah. uh, mm. a situation whereby somebody failed to raise that 20 shillings, yes. what happens? Well, so normally, uh, for us to even allow you to get into the program, mm -hmm. they, we do what's called credit scoring. Mm. Credit scoring is where we check whether you are credit worthy. <laughs> you get the point. Uh, when you give you loan, are you the kind of person who pays back mm -hmm. his debt? <laughs> are you the kind of person who, when we give you, then you disappear into the woods? Eh? Mm. So we do that credit scoring. So the people, we are taking a risk, of course. Eh? Mm. So the people that we allow to get into the program, mm. these are people who have proven, mm. based on how they borrow and repay, that they're able to do what? To pay back. To pay. And we've made it 20 shillings. I mean, for a smartphone and 20 <laughs> shillings, that is ridiculous. Uh? So we are just hoping that... Uh, Everybody is able to mm. to pay the twenty shillings. Yeah, yes. we, we, and so we, far it's we been it's been well, really. Mm. I mean, if you look at if you look at the statistics, mm. how the uptake and of course uh, how people are repaying, mm -hmm. we can say it's, a, it's 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 going on well, both for us and of, of course. We can for say the, Kenyans are trying their best. Kenyans are trying their best, yeah. and it's a, it's a unique opportunity opportunity for them. Mm. It would be their loss actually mm. if they don't take if they don't if they didn't take advantage of this opportunity. Mm. Yeah, so it's something that is going on well. Yeah, I, I hope uh, even the, the Kenyans that are watching us at home, mm. you know, sometimes back Kenyans were, 
known to be people who like taking loans and they don't pay back. <laughs> but I know 20 shillings is such a small amount yes, of money yes, because yeah. in a day, at mm. least everybody spent more than 20 shillings. Yeah, exactly. I, I know we are almost taking a short break, uh, but uh, still we have a lot to be talking about mm. because uh, now when we come back, uh, we want to indulge into it. Uh, Bonga or browse Bila was. Mm. Yeah, that is uh, actually we promised our viewer mm. when we are starting the show that uh, that would be one of the major topics that I uh, will be talking about. So mm. when we come back from the break, mm. we will be talking uh, widely about it because uh, I know there are so many questions that uh, Kenyans would love to know about this browse Bila was. Okay. So let's take, in, uh, let's take a short break and then uh, we come back. Guys, uh, you're watching a business Tuesday as usual. My name is Morso Wino and this is Alolwe TV. We are taking a short break and uh, we are coming back shortly. Don't go too far. Wakeni ginjotelo kindeduto kochakore eudi ka chiela kod kundegi magticha. Ngenjo mamine, oyangore kendo gingi lemo mpogore upogore. Magiduto emomio e chendro mareduan mine, wakelo niwelo mawakeni, mami ipuonji makare kakanga mamio, ewi wechegweko mago hala, wechegweko mago siyasa, chike ewi ratich nga mamio. Kese is modo kwa sexual gender based violence, kata nyogo mobani. Ratiro magnifindo, mandongini nyanti. Wechegweko magdaka, ekin mamoko matota. Ango mamio ni chako riuro, machalo kama indito ni chake karamo. Tudrikoda Joyce Odwar kama akeloni yetu akmachalo kama hindi cheng ticha deka ticha deka sa ario marutieno mana elolue TV. Welcome back guys, uh, this is a Business Tuesday as usual if you're just joining us. Uh, I know you have missed a lot but still we have a lot to cover so stay tuned. Uh, we're having a guest on the show today, and our guest is coming uh, from Safaricom and uh, we are trying to demystify these uh, bros Bila was because uh, it's uh, something that still many Kenyans are just hearing it, probably reading it on Facebook, social media and uh, they don't really know what is this. Uh, people have been uh, talking about the 500 MBs daily and uh, nobody really has an idea of what exactly this is. And uh, that's why we managed uh, to bring uh, one of the guys from Safaricom and uh, he will be shedding more light on this. So welcome back once again, guys. And uh, my name is Mauricio Wino as usual and the program is Business Tuesday. Let me welcome my guest again, probably for those who are tuning in so that he can say hi to you and then uh, we get to it. Say hi to the viewer again once more. Hi viewers, my name is Jude Juma Omolo. I'm an engineer from Safaricom. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, as the guest has put it, uh, now guest, uh, tell us more about this thing called uh, Browse Bilawas. Yeah, so Browse Bilawas is a, is a campaign mm -hmm. um, that we have launched to make sure that so many people get access to cheap data, mm -hmm. actually free data. So uh, the campaign will run until the 23rd of May, mm -hmm. uh, 2021. So what happens when you buy bundle, especially the non-expiry bundle? When you buy that bundle, uh, you get based on your limit, and the limit is calculated based on how you have used, uh, how you how, how you have been, you know, use the bundle that you bought. Not necessarily. Mm. Based on your usage, how you buy stuff from Safaricom, how mm. you buy a bundle, how mm. you. So based on that usage, we calculate your your limit. Mm. So let's say your case, if you go to star five four four, option zero you will uh, be able to check your limit. Mm -mm. Maybe your limit, maybe let's say five bob. So if you buy a bundle worth five bob, mm. we give you a free extra 500 MB. You get the only point? If you buy only worth I'm just, five bob I'm only. Just, I'm just giving you an example because mm. uh, the limit is different. Mine could be five bob, yours could be 10. <laughs> yeah, it Some depends other on how many purchases be... I make exactly, in a day. Exactly, exactly. Mm. So it's based on uh, somebody's limits. Mm -hmm. So your limit could be 100 bob. Another person's limit could be, you know, Five bob, like mm. I, like I've said. Mm. Another person's limit could be twenty. Okay. Mm. So based on that limit, you buy that bundle that you want to buy for ten bob. Mm. 
And then once you buy it, mm. we give you an extra 500. Mm. So the extra 500, that's what we are calling the browse biller WAS. was. Or <laughs> in our space, we call it data unlock. Eh? Mm. So uh, the bundle will, will stay with you. You can use it for until midnight of that day. Mm. Okay, so it's an expiry bundle. Mm. After midnight, it, it ends. But you have the opportunity to get, a, get another one mm -hmm. the following day. So you can access it or unlock it every day mm. until the 23rd of, of May. Mm -hmm. So the idea behind this one mm. is for us to, you know, give people, because people have been complaining about, you know, you know, bundle being consumed and stuff like that. Mm. Probably because they do not understand uh, the technicalities behind bundle consumption. Because, mm. you know, bundle is, is consumed because of so many things. The <laughs> smartphones that we have, mm. the things that are running in the background, the apps, the Instagrams, <laughs> mm. the whatever. They consume bundle. And when this happens, of course, the noise around there is that Safaricom is doing what? <laughs> is eating the bundle. But you see, it's actually, <laughs> <laughs> that is not uh, really the case. Uh, but now, in an attempt to even, uh, because we are so much concerned about our customers, mm. we are obsessed about our customers, our customers' happiness is our core business. So what we are, what we are trying to do is we give them an opportunity to enjoy more browsing time, mm by giving them this free 500 MB. Mm. But, and 500 MB, you can do a lot. I mean, you can go to YouTube, you can go to, you can go selling on the Instagram. Mm. With this and, 500 MB, you yeah. can go to any site. You can go to any site. Mm. It's the only thing you can do, you cannot share it. Eh? Mm. Or you cannot share it. <laughs> uh, and, and now, sorry for interrupt, mm. interrupting you. Yes. And uh, with the 500 MBs, mm. that one that you get when uh, mm. you do the, the daily. Yes, yes, yes. Is it for postpaid or is it for... Oh uh, yeah, so that's another good question. Mm. So uh, we are not discriminating any, any person on any tariff. Huh? Mm -hmm. Whether you are a prepaid subscriber or whether you are a postpaid uh, customer, mm. you have access to this, to this bundle. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So, so everyone, open all the Safacom subscri subscribers have access to the, the, mm. the unlock mm. bundle, yes. On the expiry thing, I know Kenyans and uh, yeah. how they usually behave. <laughs> they would wish that this thing mm. it doesn't end at midnight. Yeah, because well, that's, for example, mm. uh, I, I bought it at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. and then uh, maybe I didn't get time to use it. Yeah. And imagine at midnight it mm. ends. Well, okay. The thing the thing about uh, this data unlock is that <coughs> after it expires, mm. which is midnight. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also get another one mm -hmm. by purchasing maybe a similar bundle. Eh? Mm -mm. So if, if say you bought yours at 6 p.m. Eh? Mm -hmm. and then you had not you not had an opportunity to utilize the bundle, mm. uh, by the time it clocks as uh, midnight, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity to get another one. By doing what now? By buying a similar bundle. Maybe based on your limit again, maybe you buy maybe bundle worth 100 bob, mm. then we add you on top of it mm. an extra 500. Mm. So the expiry bit, of course, is a business decision mm. because at the end of the day, Safaricom is, you know, in business. Mm. But uh, if you look at it the logically, because it's there the next day, mm. you have an, another opportunity to get another one mm. for free. Because there's a question uh, somebody asked me a few days ago yeah. about these uh, 500 MBs. I think uh, he was telling me that uh, he usually buy, mm. uh, use like around 40 shillings daily okay. to mm. buy the data bundles, mm. then an expiry. Yeah. But uh, he could get the notification from Safaricom that you have received uh, unlock the 500, but still, mm. his phone was still showing no internet. I don't know what was really the problem. <laughs> <laughs> and now he told me again, mm. he had to buy again for 20, and then after doing that, now we had the internet. But he had the, he got the information that you already received this 500 MB, mm. and he could not he could not do anything it on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, <coughs> I would say that's a very strange situation because um, ordinarily, mm. once you have the 500 MB, that's bundle, that's 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 internet, that's bundle. I mean, mm. your phone should work okay, mm. unless now. The problem is handset related. Maybe your, your phone, your internet setting has a problem. Mm. Because it will be so, you know, for us to allow such a product to go out there, mm. it has gone through a lot some of testing. testing and everything. Mm. Yeah, it has <laughs> gone through a lot of quality 
test, eh? mm -hmm. because we cannot release such a product. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then we give you bundle, and then it's not. I mean, so, you're not able to use so it. So maybe what I that's can That's a unique ask, case. Eh? Mm. That's a unique case that normally when it happens, we mm. encourage our customers to just contact our our care desk mm. and our customer care desk mm. and raise the issue, and then we can handle that issue. Yeah. But that's a very rare case. It mm. doesn't happen like that. What again, I know many people would love to know is that uh, this bundle, when it comes to your phone, yeah. and uh, it will, probably it came when you already have some yes, bundles yes. that you bought still exist on your yeah. phone, which one will be used first? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so um, because this one is, is, is an expiry bundle, mm. we give it priority. Okay. So that you use this one first. And then you can And then you after you have depleted the 500 MB, mm. then the consumption goes to the one oh, that to you the usual had. one. Yes. That is very nice. Now, yeah. uh, as the world becomes more digital, mm. how are you enabling your customers to move from 2G to 4G mm. uh, to access data enabled devices? Because I know we still have people mm. that are still using the 2G's mm. phones. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, like I had actually mentioned earlier, mm. uh, we are uh, we are um, making effort to ensure that all our customers mm. uh, transition from the 2G to to, to 4G devices. Mm. And one of the ways through which we are, we are trying to achieve this is uh, the Lipam Dogom Dogo program. Mm -hmm. That so, phone you are taking. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so the Lipam Dogom Dogo mm. is a program that we allow our customers to pay, uh, you know very small price, mm. like 20 bob per day, mm -hmm. and uh, you're able to access a smartphone mm. that goes for around 3,900. Mm. So this, this phone, you can access it by going to Safaricom shop. You can also access, access it via masoko.com, mm. which mm. is our e-commerce uh, website. Mm. You can also access it by going to our various dealers huh? mm. around the country, wherever you may be. Mm. So once you pay your deposit of 500 shillings, you are given the phone, mm. and then you make a commitment of paying 20 shillings every, the, the every, every day. day. Mm. And you continue enjoying. Because we, we realize that uh, having a 2G phone um, limits you to you know, the, some of the opportunities that are existing currently mm. on the internet space. Mm. So a 4G phone would unlock a lot of opportunities for people mm. in terms of business opportunity, in terms of trying to learn new skills and, and so many things. Mm -hmm. So this is a campaign that we are doing intentionally to make sure that all our customers mm. are, um, covered. are covered and they are able to migrate to the digital space, mm -hmm. into the 4G world, where they are also you know, taking care of, they, they enjoy the, the the internet goodies that the, the rest of us are also enjoying. Yeah. Very, very well, I know to, on our last question, yeah. Safaricom aims to be a technology company mm. uh, by 2025. Yes. Uh, what's the role of data in achieving that? Yeah, so data is very important. And you've rightly put it, we are, we are trying to, to move, uh, to become a technology company. Mm. For, traditionally, we've been a telco, which is yes. just for communication, <laughs> but things are changing, mm. and we cannot, you know, sit pretty and continue being a telco. So uh, the, the 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 strategic shift from mm. the traditional telco mm. to a digital uh, company mm. or a technology company is uh, prompted by the way things are moving, and we are we are trying to move along with our customers, mm. and data is going to play a big role because uh, right now. Uh, Having data means you have access to so many things in the in the technology space, in the digital space. Mm. And we are trying to achieve this by, first of all, we are strengthening our network coverage mm. across the country. Mm. And we've been doing this right now. We are at 92% coverage in terms of 4G, mm. which is a good thing. If which you look at very, our com that's competitors, very nice. if you look at our competitors, mm. and we are really not <laughs> obsessed with the, our competitors, mm. but our focus is on our our customers, yeah, customers, because we are trying to make sure that uh, wherever you are in this country, mm. be it the farthest corners of this world, of this country, you are able to access uh, 4G internet coverage, mm. 4G even for, for normal uh, voice uh, voice calls and stuff like that. Mm. So uh, internet and, and yeah, internet is going to play a major role because uh, the internet has a lot of things, mm. and as customers want this internet stuff. Mm. Um, if Safaricom can, can come in between and provide this opportunity mm. by providing cheaper bundle, by providing uh, an opportunity for them to have access to smartphones, mm -hmm. and you know, being 
working with them this journey of digital migration. Mm. So that's what we are trying to do. We are intentional in making sure that our customers have uh, the opportunity to you know do business, mm. take advantage of the the digital uh, uh, what do you call it the digital space, space. Do, do their business, learn new skills and mm -hmm. everything else that happens in the, in the, on the internet. And we are purpose-led. That means uh, we do things that are meant to transform lives. Mm. So if it means uh, giving people opportunity to, you know, send money cheaply, mm. giving people opportunity to do business, giving people opportunity to learn, mm -hmm. we are in there. So, yeah. Very well. Now we are winding up and uh, you can tell us in 15 seconds, yeah. what else does Safaricom do apart from this data thing? Yeah, Maybe so to change the lives of uh, <laughs> So we are, we are doing a lot of things. Mm. Um, if you heard, we are doing, we are in the, we are in the various sector. Mm. We are even encroaching into the agricultural sector. If you heard of uh, um, Digifarm. So Digifarm is also a very unique opportunity that we are using to, you know, empower our, our farmers. Mm. Of course, there are so many things. Even in the financial uh, sector, the Mpesa, you know, mm -hmm. so many things we are doing. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, I wanted to mention something about um, data because that was, that was really the focus of this interview. Because mm -hmm. um, people have been complaining about you know how data is being consumed. So we are trying to empower our customers so that they are able to first of all they are able to manage their own data, mm -hmm. manage consumption. You also um, so there's, there's there's an option called my data manager. Mm -hmm. So my data manager, you can you you are able to to even regulate the speed, okay? Mm -hmm. Data save this the data save option. You are able to regulate speed, but also you are able to to check usage. So that's 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 a feature that we used to have. We, it exists in every phone. We disabled it a little bit, but it's going to be there. Mm -hmm. So you're able to actually check your usage. So once you get that notification that maybe your bundle is over, you know where the bundle has been going. Mm -hmm. It has not been consumed by Safaricom. You're able to check and tell, okay, uh, I had this bundle. I've been visiting these sites, one, two, three. This is where the bundle. So we are trying to bring that aspect of transparency so that our customers know mm -hmm. that I got this from Safaricom, value for money. I've used it like this and this. And yeah, so basically that's what we are trying to do. Mm -hmm. But in, more, important, more importantly, uh, we are in... Our, our core business is to transform lives through technology. And like I've mentioned, there is the Mpesa bit, there is the voice, I mean, there is the, the, the internet, the bundle, and there's also other things that we are doing like Digifarm that I mentioned. Yes. Well, thank you very much uh, for finding time to be on the program today. Uh, I believe uh, the viewer at home, at least they have managed now to get enlightened of some of these things that they have been asking about, especially the data mm. and the usage and all that manner mm. of stuff. Mm. And also that browse bill of us. Yes, yes. So I know we'll call you again next time so that you can expand on more because uh, we know Safaricom is a big company and you deal with a lot of things. Yeah. But for today, that marks the end of our interview. We just want to say thank you very much. And uh, we also want to say thanks to the Safaricom as a whole. So guys, that marks the end of our interview today. Thank you very much for finding time to be with us. And uh, that was Business Tuesday. My name is Morso Wino. Keep watching Lolo TV.